Good morning. Welcome to Rocksteady and to my journey. And um, as you can see, it's starting to look redder, I think. Um, it's definitely starting to feel a little bit tender. I can't say sore. I can't say sore because it doesn't feel bad to touch like this. I can, it's all right. But um, every now and then something, I will brush against it and it just feels like, oh, a bit sore. And it's around this area here. So this is obviously the worst part. And um, yeah, so it's starting to feel a little bit uh, tender in places. So I, <clears throat> I have no idea what to expect from uh, this treatment. I really don't. Um, I don't know if I'm doing it absolutely right or not you know all i know is you're meant to apply a thin layer sometimes i think i'm just putting too much on it's very difficult but i did google last night i did a bit of doctor google and um apparently it says use use it a centimeter around so that's how you know you've got um definitely it so it doesn't harm your skin around it so <clears throat> If you do, sorry, I've gone dry. If you do get um, an area around it, you know you're not actually doing yourself any harm by doing that. Um, one thing that I, um, <clears throat> when I held up the cream and I said it was a few dicks, um, apparently the subtitles came up with something funny. So um, I don't know if it'll do it again, but apparently it is. it is funny, so it's worth having a look at. Um, <clears throat> bit of gallows humour there. Anyway, um, yeah, I do feel like it's a little sore. I also, one of the things I did see was the side effects are that it improves the texture and look of your skin. It gets rid of fine lines. And I thought, well, it's a drastic measure. But really, I, I didn't know that. So I'm going to have a beautiful nose at the end of this. Um no lines or anything just the most gorgeous nose you've ever seen so <clears throat> let's get on with it shall we um oh it's not oozing out the top for once so maybe i won't i'll be in a position where i haven't got too much on today get my little mirror and uh yeah i don't know if you can see it it's definitely getting some little areas where it's got like little spots they're kind of um little raised areas that it's um kind of where the the saw is i think so knowing that i can get it anywhere i want i'm gonna like be a bit more liberal but it does say keep it away from your nostrils which is a bit difficult when it's right by my nostril now um there were other side effects that are not particularly nice because this fill, this cream is a form of chemotherapy. So as with all chemotherapy, there is a risk of hair loss. Brilliant. So will I have a gorgeous nose, but no hair? So yeah, there is that. <clears throat> who can, who, what's the point of having a gorgeous nose if you've got no hair? Oh, well. What will be, will be. So there we go. I've actually applied it thinner this time round because I knew I could smear the excess around the area. So uh, there we are. It's done again for um, today. So I don't know how long it will take before it's um, done, before it's cooked. I have no idea. This is all trial and error. Let's hope there's not too much error and just more trial. So... Um, <clears throat> but so far I have noticed that it is starting to, I would say, every now and then feel a little bit tender. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.